By now, everybody knows my thesis that I believe that blockchain and Web3 gaming is going to usher us into the next bull run, and it's going to be a massive part of that. And I know when people hear me talk about it, they're like, Rob, why do you talk about this so much? And it's because of there's a couple of different things that I'd like to point out. First of all, let's take a look at stats. Let's, let's take a look at data. This is from Statista, and it talks about how many gamers are out there globally. Well, globally, there's 3.09 billion right now in 2023. These are active video game players. By 2024, you got 3.32 billion gamers worldwide. That, that number only goes up. And the Asian market itself, that's roughly half of them right there. So we know there's a lot of gamers and some people will say, but Rob, it doesn't make any sense because I mean, what are these third world countries in different places? Trust me. In a lot of these places, uh, they still have smartphones. This is not like we're in the, uh, the 19, uh, early 1980s where no one really has any, any technology. They do, it's just about connectivity. But trust me when I say, there is a lot of gamers out there. And whether you are into the hardcore games or, or more of uh, just the basic, uh, hyper casual like myself, uh, people play games all over the place. This is my wife's favorite website. She's on it all the time. It's Pogo. And they have uh, roughly one to five million uh, individual viewers per month on this website. And you play games for free or you can pay a small fee and you get it without ads. And that's what she does. There's also another one called Crazy Games. This is the number one uh, free game site with uh, 22 million individual users per month going to this going to the site and they're killing it with just these silly little games. So if you take in Web3 and blockchain gaming, if you take this aspect and you can marry it to an aspect of where you actually either make a little bit of crypto or you're making funds or if you're able to wager those against other people or if you're able to take that and buy nfts in the game to level up and then potentially sell those nfts then i think you got a big winner but the thing really comes down to is can you make a game that people actually want to play and it's not just boring and it's out there so that's why i was excited about this game itself which is rec league now growing up I played a lot of fighting games. I liked Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter Alpha, all that stuff. So when this game came out, I'm like, that's cool because this looks like something that I would be into. I'm not into role-playing games or card-based turn games. I mean, that's fine if you're into that, but I just don't really get it. So like with this one, I'm like, this is interesting. And this is just a little snippet of what the game is all about. Welcome to Rec League, the Megaverse's premier mech sports combat organization. This is the league where the best mech crafters and pilots show off their latest creations, compete for notoriety and riches, and battle to see who's best. After opening the boxes you've minted, you'll want to head over to the rec shop to see the parts in detail. Select My Parts. Log in and connect the same wallet you connected to Mint. You'll see all the mech parts you own. Each one is an individual NFT you can trade, sell, or use to build your mech. Select Assemble, and you'll be taken to your personal garage. From here, you can build, deconstruct, and rebuild your mechs whenever you want. You'll need 10 individual parts to make a mech. On the right are all the parts you own. Click on any part of the mech frame to see your inventory and options you own that can be used for that part. Click Attach to add a piece. And don't forget to try different pieces in different combinations while you're building. You'll see each part's stats, attributes, rarity, and combat abilities. Once you've dialed in your creation, hit the assemble button to finalize the build and mint the mech. Your minted mech is now a new NFT in your wallet. But if you decide later that this mech isn't performing the way you'd hoped for, you can disassemble it. At which point the mech NFT is burned and the individual parts are unlocked and reclaimed in your inventory. If your creation turns out to be a ringer, you can sell or trade it as the mech NFT you minted when you built your mech. Yeah, so great. I can get behind that. It looks pretty interesting. And before we go on, I should have mentioned this in the very beginning. And that is that uh, I know this is going to come up in the comment section. So let's just do a preemptive strike. Nobody paid me for this video. I find the game interesting. I'll probably be playing it. And I've already minted my NFTs. So we'll go from there. All right, so for this one, there's just a couple of questions that you might have. Like, first of all, of course, we know what, what Rec League is. It's a AAA, real-time, PvP fighting game, player versus player, with mobile and PC cross-plane functionality. Fantastic. So who made this? And I think this is, this is the big thing, because the higher quality of individuals you get that actually build these games or are behind a project, the better your project should be. So this is made by Enway. They've made different games like Power Rangers, Legacy Wars, Chronoblade, 
and they've got leading developers from uh, Sony, LucasArts, EA, Ubisoft, Capcom, Bandai, Xbox, Warner Brothers, Konami, and the list goes on. So pretty good pedigree. It looks pretty good. And then, of course, we've also got Animoca Brands and other ones as far as like the, the VC, the venture capitalists and the ones that are building a ton of blockchain and Web3 games, and they are just enormous. Also, if you are kind of unclear about why Web3, why blockchain gaming and where things are going, I did a pretty decent interview uh, with uh, the founder, Yatsu, just a couple of weeks ago, where he explains it. It's really all about getting into Web3 and having that individuality and the ability to actually own your own pieces of this pie as, a, as opposed to having everything uh, pretty much bought and paid for you. So I'll, I'll link that uh, in the description. You can check it out. And then lastly, which was uh, the thing that I actually was questioning today, how many boxes? Because we, I minted the boxes for the NFTs and there was a total of 25,000 different NFTs or boxes and 5,000 NFT booster boxes for sale in the Genesis Mint. So we actually did that today. And I started the, this morning. Today is August 17th. Right now it's uh, roughly one o'clock. This is like two or three hours ago. And uh, I thought I got there. I got there with like 15 minutes and I was number 11,600 in line. I'm like, that's cool. And it says expected arrival time more than an hour. So you're going to wait more than an hour. I'm like, that's fine. I got, I got stuff to do today, but I can just have this in the background. And of course, I missed it. And it says your queue number is only valid for five minutes. So it must have gone on and off within five minutes. And I was like, well, that's a bummer. But I just clicked the refresh button and bang, there it was. I was back. So you'll notice that uh, for these boxes that I minted, I got a Majestic box and a, a booster box. You could buy up to, I think it was like 15 at a time. I don't really want, don't need that for myself. I'm just kind of doing this just to, to get my uh, feet wet. And you can see here that it was bought for 150 ape and 50 ape. And that's the big thing about uh, blockchain gaming. Because when we talk about this sector of crypto, some of you may want to buy into the individual game or into the studio. Or you may look at this and go, you know what, what's the play underneath? What is this actually built on? And for this one, you can look at uh, Ape Token, which Ape Token is an ERC-20 token. So that would be Ethereum. So, you know, pick your poison of what you want to actually invest into. And uh, ApeCoin is by Yuga Labs. They did the uh, Board Ape Yacht Club, Mutant Ape Yacht Club, and they did also uh, CryptoPunks as well. So pretty big. And ApeCoin itself, I didn't know this, but it's got uh, the total supply is a billion, max supply is a billion. Circulating supply right now is 368 million. So they still have things locked up and it's not cheap. It's a, almost two bucks for, uh, for one token. And then also, if you want to take a look at the tokenomics and you can find, you can find this, all this stuff on coingecko.com, which I like using it. But the tokenomics is quite interesting is you've got, as far as the treasury, almost half. Treasury and resources, half. They get that locked up. So that can be done there. Yuga Labs get 15%. Charity at 1%. That's cute. Board API Club founders, 8%. Remember that was an airdrop, big thing. Launch contributors, whatever that is, maybe influencers or educators. And then the 15% uh, Board API Club, Mutant API Club, NFT holders. Wow, 15%, watch out. So that's what the APE token is. You can be the judge of that. So anyhow, we went through the whole process. I was able to mint it. And I got to tell you, the ETH fee is like 23 bucks. Unbelievable. And I, I just don't see how, how that's sustainable without L2s. So paid for that, paid for that. And I got these two boxes. So it's looking pretty good. And I'm like, this is great. So now I'm going to get to start playing this game. But hold on, slick. doesn't work that fast. And here on the website, recleague.xyz, I'll link in the description. When you go to Garage, when you mint this, you can go and click on My Boxes. Your boxes will come up. And if you click on like Majestic Box, let's say, if you open this box, you'll receive 10 different parts that are required to make one mech. So that's what the video we just saw, right? make the mech. Fantastic. Let's start playing. Hold your horses because uh, what's happening here, here's the roadmap. You can check the minted box NFTs in your wallet. Initially, the boxes are in a blind state. Their rarity will be disclosed according to the following roadmap. So today it was the mint, August 24th. So like another week, the box rarity reveal. Hey, and then September 14th, you can open the box and you can play the game. So look, on this piece, I will just say that I'm pretty impressed that they actually have a working product for a AAA ranked game, and it's going to come out in three weeks. If you look at some of the other ones that are out there, it's taken, they're talking about another two years to get this going, at least with this one. 
I'll need to play the game pretty soon. And that's it for today. So look, if you like today's video, learn something, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. Everything we talk about is very time sensitive, especially stuff like this. But that's it for now. Thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate you and I'll see you on the next one.